<laughs> what up, YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. Back in here with one more video. Joining today, OG Auntie Iris. That's me. That is you. That is me. Now listen, I appreciate you coming through, coming back through. I appreciate you, okay? I wanna have a conversation with you here today. I uploaded a video not too long ago that um, brought up a lot of contentious points within the community. Okay. Specific to child support. Okay. And I wanted to get your reaction off of this video, so I wanted to go back over it again have you seen this video before? No. Okay. I wanted to go back over it again and give a in the moment reaction to the way that you feel regarding the words that are coming out of her mouth. I think it'd be really, I think it'd be really interesting because you have specific uh, experience. experience that would lend an additional point. Cause we like to critically think on this channel. Okay. All right. All right. So without further ado, Anything to say before we get started? No, I'm ready to listen to the video. You ready to get in I'm there? I'm ready to get in there. Let's, let's get active. So the idea that every man is responsible for the sperm, his, the, for the children his sperm creates, is already false off the rip, right? Women can go purchase some sperm and have a baby, and no man would be held responsible for that child because she chose for no man to be responsible for that child. Yes? Okay, let's take another scenario. A woman can have a child, raise it alone all her life, decide when the child is 17, she wants child support for the last 17 years, and pursue it and win. How would a decision like that be made in the best interests of a child? All right, let's pause right there. Okay, let's let's pause right there. Uh, let's talk about those two points. So two points that she brought up. The first one, OG, Auntie Iris. Every time I say that, OG, Bobby. Uh, the first thing is that she said, um, what she's talking through is the inequalities between uh, male birthrights and female birthrights. Right. Um, one of the things that she brought up is the idea that a woman can go into a sperm center and has the option of birthing a child and uh, without the um, the need of a father in that child's life, whereas men do not necessarily have these options. Um, so when you hear st something like that, like what do you think? Like is that true? Do you think that that there's truth in the way that she articulates that? Well, in terms of having a baby. I mean, yeah, she's right in terms of, uh, you know, a, ch a person can go and get a sperm bank, go and, get a sperm and have a baby, and there's no father. But there's no father that wants to be a father either. She decided that she wanted to do this. They went and they put their sperm in there. They had no intention of really being a person or any relationship to any baby or anything. They were just were selling their sperm because they got money or whatever. And she had this baby. So that makes sense. That's what she wants. That's what, what society called for and all that. There's... A guy can go and, and, and adopt a child and not have a female involved in that too. So when it comes down to, you know, those are semantics. She can, you know, yes. Do you, However, with, okay. with, with child support, I don't know where she lives, but I know for a fact that with child support, child support is, is, is based on the day that you file for child support. So if you decide that you have, at 17 years, you need child support, and you go in there and you file for child support, you're only going to get child support from the day you sign and you ask for it, not from 17 years ago. That, okay. you know, and that really, there's no, there's, that doesn't even make sense. So, it, I, so I've heard anecdotal story, horror stories of man gets, to, uh, or tri child gets to 16, 17 years old, and then the mother can retroactively claim child support, even though they didn't file when the child was born, can retroactively start child support support payments at 16 and get, you know, $300,000, $400,000 judgment in uh, collection from the father, from the man, even though they could have been in the child's life up until I never 18. heard of such a thing. And even, and I had received child support for my daughter. And when I started for child support, I couldn't, I started 
after she, of course, after she was born. Mm -hmm. She was almost a year old, and then I put it in. And when I put it in, I can only get it from when I started. You know, she was already a year old. So anything prior to that, which was like a whole year's worth of child support I could have gotten, mm -hmm. I couldn't have gotten it because I didn't start. And they they told me, they said, well, you know, you get it from the day you know that you put it in. And I didn't even get it that day. I got it retroactive from that day because I started in April and then I got it in December. Okay, so, you know, so, you so I got it from April. So there was no option for you to no. retro to go back a year that you didn't file. Not at all. Okay. And they they told me that they said you cannot get anything that you didn't file, ask for prior. So I can only get it from when I started. Okay. That's and it. and the child support thing, it, it's a state by state thing. It's, so and yeah. you were in Jersey, right? I was in New Jersey. I'm, okay. I can't imagine that it'd be any different. It you know it, it I never I was in New Jersey. I mm -hmm. stayed in New Jersey even after I moved. I mm -hmm. stayed in, you know, I still received child support from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And in New Jersey, they were like, no, you can't get anything except for when you started. So if I had waited until she was 16, 17, 13, or whatever, I can only get it from the day that I applied for child support. Okay. That was it. So I don't know where she's from, and I really don't think that's the truth. But, okay. you know, that's her life. If she's done it, then she can say it. Okay. All right, well, let's, let's keep on going. Let's, let's see what else she's got to say where someone might not even know that they have a child for 10, 12, 15 years because you didn't need the money then, huh? But now that we've decided that we're gonna pursue him, all of a sudden he's become a person who's been neglectful for 15 or 16 or 17 years. So once again, it is based on the choice of the mother if at all she wants this man present and when she wants to include him in this kid's life right so i don't see that as being something that's in the best interests of the child or of family in any kind of way it leaves the choice totally up to the woman if you look at reproductive rights hmm? Okay, so we say men can decide whether or not to have sex. Absolutely. They can decide whether or not to wear a condom. Absolutely. But somehow, if a man decides to say, I don't know, believe a woman who says, I'm on the pill. I have an IUD. Yeah, we got to talk about this. I'm on Depo Provera. Yeah. I'm taking this or I'm taking that. If he chooses to believe her, so mm. now they had a discussion, right? Mm. They made the decision together that they didn't want children, except maybe she wasn't telling the truth. Mm. Mm? Where are his reproductive rights? Let, let's, let's pause on this one real quick. Um, um, this, is a, this, this one, when she started talking about this one in the last video that I did, um, this one um, brought up a lot of trigger points for me because um, I've had I have boys in my life that have had situations like this happen to mm -hmm. them, which is they were convinced that she was taking the pill every day or were convinced that she had actually gotten the Depovera inserted in. Um, so my thing is, is when I when I hear this, it's if the if a man thinks that. I am engaging in this activity and the outcome will not be child. Mm -hmm. But he was led to incorrectly believe that she was as consistent on her medication as what she claimed to be, but she wasn't. Mm -hmm. If it turns into a child, he then loses the rights of choosing whether or not to be in the child's life. Um, that to me, in thinking through all of that, I understand it, but I understand it less when you interject into that conversation that irrespective of the man's thoughts of wanting or not wanting the child, mm -hmm. full responsibility of keeping or aborting the child is up to the woman, is up to the mother. Okay. It does, he doesn't lose the right to be a, a part of that child's life. So I'll just say that. He, he has every right to be a child, part of that child's life. Unless she wants an abortion. Unless she wants an abortion, okay? And I believe that a woman should be the deciding factor of whether or not she has an abortion. I feel like two people that come together to have sex should always realize that you can have a baby. And, in, and 
if you and you should know that person that you're having sex with you should know if you can trust that person you should know that you should not just go have sex just all willy-nilly because you just feel like doing it no you should know that this is the person that i may actually have a baby with and i can trust her i know that we're going to be okay it because it could happen i know that we're going to be okay i know everything that comes out of her mouth is true and you should wear a condom period regardless of whether she's on a pill or not because pills not, don't always work and and you can get pregnant on a pill some people do and 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 the, and all the other stuff i mean all of that is dangerous to the female anyway mm. so why would you want you know if you don't want to have any babies then you get your stuff done and that's you just, mean vasectomy yes if you don't want to have babies you get a, and, that, and that can be reversed okay so my thing is if you don't want to have babies and you go get a vasectomy when you decide to have babies and spend the money to have it reversed but you but there's no way that you can stop any of that except for if you really truly honestly are with these people and you really truly honestly trust one another and you trust what she says because yeah you're right she can lie and she can say she's on the pill and get you get you all caught up but if you if you really don't want to have a child don't have sex I, I so I think so when I um, when I think about like the the, the timeline between um, having sex, conception, and then the child is born, mm -hmm. um, I think like uh, before conception, I I agree with you. I think you should be uh, placing yourself in a situation of minimal risk, uh, <laughs> as minimal r risky <laughs> as as possible. But at the same right. time, I was a young twenty year old dude taking trips all over oh, the, over the country. And you gonna have fun. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? That's so I, fun to you guys. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's a it's a component of you know where I was then. I don't do it like like that anymore. Right. But you know it was fun at the time. So like, but, I, you see, but I had to live through that. Before. I, but I got lucky. Okay. I got I got lucky. You know I got some of my my buddies that were not as lucky. But I think that there should be fifty percent fifty percent accountability prior to conception. Right. And I think that we both agree there that right. both should take equal responsibility and accountability although I think that a man should not trust when a woman says yes I am taking this I am doing that because and we I all agree. know of situations where they are not and then the, and, but they want the child in order to lock him in because they want a relationship they want marriage they want like these li these things and, and that that's is, a good way to do it because some dudes will step up to the plate and that's so unfortunate because women have a tendency to believe that foolishness that, you know, you get him caught, he has a baby, he's going to be with you the rest of your life. Mm. No. In fact, Immature. he may actually walk away because of that. Because of it. But yeah. two people should know that if you have sex, there might be a baby. And both of you should be in agreement that we're going to have sex and there may be a baby in there. And you say, yeah, okay. Yeah. But if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to have a baby, don't have sex. That's the only way to want, unless you're using a condom or, pulling, or pulling out. Yeah. And even then, you can't really tell because you do it, you know? So yeah. there's, there's no real absolute way except for not having it or having a vasectomy. Yeah. Um, so at the point of conception, one thing that you said earlier is that you believe the woman should have full right to choose a, to abort and not, and the man's thoughts in that should not be considered at all. Well, his thought, well, we can talk about it. But the thing is, is that women, it's the woman's body that they're going to, that's going to be aborting. Mm -hmm. And when you're dealing with the woman's body in that respect, there's dangers in place, mm -hmm. okay? And there could be a point where she can go ahead and abort this child and never have, be able to have another child ever again in life. You know, there can be, there's a number, and there's, there's a number risk. of cases where that happened. So I don't really think that that makes sense. If she doesn't want the baby and he doesn't want the baby, then I really think that she too has a responsibility to keep that baby. Because I'm, you know, I'm a, in terms of abortion, I don't think people should be going around aborting anyway. So you're pro but I do, but yes, I'm pro life, but mm -hmm. I'm also pro choice. Mm -hmm. You know, it may seem like an oxymoron, but I believe that she should have the right to decide what she wants to do with her body. Yeah. I don't think that any man, even Congress, should not decide whether or not she should have an abortion. I don't so, believe that, but I do believe she should make the decision. But I also believe too that if she lay down with him and had and brought this life into existence, then she should allow this life to live and put it up for adoption if she doesn't want it. So, so, let, so let me ask you another question. So like, um, so you think that a, a woman should have full control just um, of kind of the, uh, uh, the idea of um, having or keeping or not, right? Um, a man um, should not be as involved with that. However, um, that is a government decision, right? Like it's a state by state. Mm -hmm. There's some states that are outlawing abortion right. after certain periods of times. 
So there's government intervention there mm -hmm. that it seems like you agree with to give your pro choice there, but you don't think you, you believe in pro life, but you get why women should be pro choice. Right. right. So you believe in government in intervention there? No, I don't. I don't believe that a government or a group of men should decide what I'm going to do with my body. I don't. I believe that they should have left it alone. They, they, but they're okay. I see what you're saying. You, you know what I'm saying. But, I believe that they should have left it alone and allowed a woman to do what she wants to do if she gets pregnant. And and I. But I do also believe that she should have. She should have the choice to do what she wants to do with her body. I don't think it should so, be a law that she cannot have an abortion. So, so let me ask you a question. If you don't want government intervention for a woman to decide, why do you want government intervention when you want a man to pay? It's not government intervention when I want a man to pay. I feel like two people made this child, so two people are responsible for this child. What happens with child support is that if I make more money than you and I have this child, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna pay more money than you mm -hmm. in child support. Mm -hmm. So it's based on you know how much money I'm making and how much money you're making and how much money is you know you'll be paying. If you make more money than me, you may be paying 55% or I may be paying 45% or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's based on you know monies you know both people paying for this child mm -hmm. and so you know a lot of men make more money mm -hmm. well they did mm -hmm. so now they feel like well not as much know, anymore not as much anymore yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah. so now they, you know they feel like i have to pay all this money but not in there but if she's got the child and and he paying whatever he's paying there's no way in the world he's paying as much as she's paying i mean you know she's she's paying a lot with the emotion she's paying a lot with with she's still going out there and buying clothes she's still paying for school programs she's paying for dance clothes and now all he's paying is a little fifty dollars a week or his little hundred dollars a week but but the, but the government forces him to pay but that's what i'm trying to get at is that uh, you don't want government intervention for a mother's right to choose to keep or abort but you do want, you are in favor of government intervention for making a man pay, even though he did not want that situation yes, to happen. Because there is a child born, and is, and that is, is in the best interest of the child. So in the in the lady's um, d uh, video, what she was saying is that is a woman can go into a sperm bank mm -hmm. and request sperm mm -hmm. and be artificially inseminated, right? Uh, and then um, be born, and that father, whoever gave that sperm, is not. He create he helped create, but he is not held responsible. Legal rights authorities doesn't even know the identity of the young person right. being born. Um, because so, he went in there with that, uh, with he went into the sperm bank and said, "This is what's going to happen. This is the way I want it to happen. If anybody wants my sperm, I don't want to have anything to do with this child. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know anything about this child. I'm not paying for this child. All that he signs papers and all of that. When she goes into the sperm bank, she agrees to that. That's an agreement that she so, makes. So she agrees to that. So she has that child, and that's it. So, so it sounds like I, I should create a contract for myself." Right before I lay down with young with young ladies, no. I sign a sperm bank contract. No, because you, then no, I would not. absolve responsibility. No, from... you will not. You will you know because when you're sitting there talking to her, he's not talking to that woman. He doesn't even know who that woman is. But you know who Some, you're going to lay down with. Sometimes I may not know. <laughs> well, then that's your then you got problems, okay? Because you should know who. <laughs> Don't shame me. No, you should know oh, who you're laying down with. You should know who you're laying down with. And that's my only thing. I'm saying that you should not be going out there just having sex all willy nilly with any fly by night person because that can happen to you okay I get and, it. okay but i'm saying if you and this person sit down and you say you know look we're gonna have sex it doesn't sound real because people don't do that but you sit down you can say we we're, we're gonna have sex because and but we may have a child and you say oh no we can't have a child you know then, then she should get up and say well then we can't have sex and you should be the same way, you know. But I, I wish that was I wish that was reality. But that but that is the God's honest way to get out of it. That's the only I, way this is not gonna this is light the way reality is is pretty much some of the way that she's saying, mm -hmm. but not all of it. But the point is that you have to men have to take responsibility and be accountable for their actions too. It's like you put all this stuff on women and then you say, Well, women won't let us do this and women don't no. You are take. You have to take accountability. Your part in it too. I, I'm not That's doing it. That's your punishment. I, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I think. I think product conception. I. I agree. There should be fifty percent accountability between mm -hmm. both people okay. because there's one insert and there's one receiving. Okay. Right. So like, I, I agree with you there. Mm -hmm. I just think at, at the point of conception, the man loses all right to choose. Loses all right to for a li for a living being. 
I mean, if it was something but, uh, but, else, if it was something else that you you chose when you know after you finish and I put on a blue dress and you said, "I don't like that dress," yeah. then you got a choice. Are we talking about a living being? I, no, I agree with you. So <laughs> at, at the point that the child is born, that's why I tell the fellows on the channel is at the at the point that. Hopefully it's not Corona. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, Trust cool. me and believe. I had my temperature before we came over here. Fantastic. Okay. Um, man, you got you got me all over. That, that, that cough sounded a little dry. Okay. I think like, I, so I agree with you prior to conception. And I also agree with you after the child is born. I think after the child is born, the man should do everything in his power to be in that young person's life. Absolutely. To make him, him or her the best person that uh, they could be contributor to society that they absolutely could be i agree with you but i believe that when that the heart when uh, conception is the beginning of heartbeat okay so as soon as squirt happens no 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 as soon as the as soon as i thought that the, happens like right at with the same night. no no the sperm <laughs> as soon as the sperm hits that egg that's conception okay do you believe in plan b you know what plan b is yeah i know that's, that's when, like the day after, after. You, yeah the day after like two, you could take it up to 72 that's, hours that's an abortion pill do, do you believe in it? Well, I don't know. I can't really say. I mean, you know, I don't know if it's really an abortion pill. So, What do you mean by that? I, because I don't know if it really works like that. I, you mm -hmm. know, a lot of people say they take the family and they didn't get pregnant. Mm -hmm. It's no, there's nothing to say that they wouldn't have gotten pregnant anyway. So you, I don't know if the plan B works or not. I think it. I think it does work. Why do you um, think it does? Um, I've had experiences where the Plan B needed to be utilized the next day. Why? Um, uh, rubbers can pop. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. How do you know she would have gotten pregnant if she didn't use a pill? So I, I agree with you. Yeah, I that's don't what know, I'm saying. I but, don't know if it works or not. But and, and you can I look at the research. Like we can go and look at the numbers of people that use double it. blind <laughs> placebo test studies that are done that have used it versus not have used it and the rate of child being born, right? Like uh, conception happening, right? Like, um, so we can look at the numbers of that. Uh, well, but, I would but, have to see that, you know, the person got pregnant and then they used a plan B the next day, that yeah. they actually conceived on that hour and yeah. then they used a plan B the next day and it killed it. Yeah. That's the only way I, that I can know. I don't really know and I don't really. We're we gonna look at that after the okay. video. And, and I'm gonna show. In terms of taking pills and stuff, I don't think, you know, I'm not a big pill person in, and I all, get you. you know, they yeah. got too many chemicals and stuff in pills. There's a lot of crap in it. Yeah, so I, I agree, but I, I think in a man's mind, it's like, well, do I want to uh, take on this four hundred thousand dollar on average <laughs> meal ticket, or do I want to play the sixty dollar Plan B the next morning? Because you know, yeah, I'm digging it. You yeah. know, but I'm just saying, you know, I mean, again, he wouldn't even have to think about that if they sat down, they had a choice. But they mistakes down, happen. They talked about it. You know, you know what it could be? It could be, you know, you, you drink a couple of libration, libations on that Friday and night. It just went you down. guys are, you know, and you still wrap it, it up. Happened. An accident mm -hmm. may, may have happened. Something may have popped. You know what I'm saying? Some, some, you may have t taken it off yourself just because, like, the <laughs> vibe was so right. And you wake up in the morning, you're like, <gasps> Why did I do that? And then you you have a conversation with her, and you know it, because I think that is more reality, right? Like we all know that it's e it's easy to have these conversations, and it's easy for me to tell you guys to you know wrap it up. With, but when you get in that situation, right, and, and, and you're looking up across the room from her, right, we, mm -hmm. you know I know it gets a lot harder. You you put in these you know substances in your body that change alters the way that your mind thinks, and you're just like ah eh, whatever. That's right. <laughs> Let's do it how God intended it. You understand me? So, you know, emotions can get involved and then you end up making an emotion-based decision, you know, because the logic would tell you to keep it on at all times. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And, and you know, things get out of hand, but, you know, those are the choices you take. Those are the, you know, that's the, that's your that's punishment. You take. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in, you know, in... It's her punishment, too. Yeah. I mean, until, until she and, does the child and, support... Until she goes to child support, I, you know, because, still, because, well, because she's still going to have more interaction with that child than he will, unless he takes her, unless he takes the child. Let me ask you a specific question that I've never asked on this channel before. Okay. I, I want to get you. I think the child support system has a flaw in it. Okay. I think one of the biggest flaws is that there's no way to track the spending of child support. So I give you fifteen hundred dollars per month. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of that fifteen hundred is being used for the betterment of my offspring. Yeah, and and if that was a right, or if they if you had to do that, it's easy enough to do. I mean, you're paying rent at a house or a mortgage. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're paying. You can write all of that down. It's going to be more. 
It's going to be more. You're paying, you know, it, it, and you can break it down to per child in the household. You know, how much this child is spending to live there? How mm -hmm. much this child spends to, to eat there? How much clothes you had to buy for this child? Mm -hmm. How much it costs for this child to go to school and books and, and different things like that? There's, you know, it, it's it's easy enough to do it and he will find out that he's not paying enough. So, uh, And if that were to happen, yeah. then they'd really have a problem because there's no way that he can pay enough. Do, do you feel any type of way when you see these settlements of like, you know, uh, people who are millionaires that are getting settlements of thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 per month? Because when other oh, things that you mentioned, the books, the, mm -hmm. the those don't cost thirty, forty thousand dollars. You're per right. Month. You're right. And right. I think that's a little ridiculous. Okay, so you agree that it's a bit yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, I think that is okay. a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Glad that we got that out. Listen, <laughs> let's, let's get back into the video for real quick, um, okay. and just to see what else that she has to say. Let's see if we can react off of that. Okay. Let's see. Let me get back down up in there. Where are his reproductive rights? And would women like it if men started acting like they couldn't be trusted on that level? I think then everybody would be insulted. Everybody would be insulted. He doesn't believe me. I told him this and I told, right? Okay. So it means what? A woman doesn't have to depend on whether a man is telling the truth or not to protect herself from an unwanted pregnancy. A man on the other hand does. And it's naive to say, oh, just put on a condom. So should men who are married to their wives wear condoms because they don't want a kid and maybe their wife secretly does? Is that realistic? Should people in long-term committed monogamous relationships, what, they should start wearing condoms because a man can't be sure if the woman that he's with is telling the truth? Like there's a clear disadvantage here, all right? So to pretend that the man has equal say in whether or not a baby is made is false, all right? It's just false, it's patently false. All right, so let's... Now, she's saying that should people that are in long-term relationships or that are married, should he wear a condom? First of all, if they're in that long-term relationship, they know whether or not they want children, mm. okay? And he'll know way before years go down whether or not they wanted to have children. He knew mm. her, she, that she could be trusted. She know he can be trusted. Everybody's, you know, on the same page at that point. So if he's not going to wear a condom, then they should not have sex. I mean, I could keep, I could keep, you know, just because they're in long-term relationships, just because they're married, does not mean that he should not wear a condom if he doesn't want a child. Do you, do you think it's realist, realistic for um, but two wait. consenting adults to wear condoms throughout their dating relationships? Yes, if they don't want children. You have to protect some way. What is it, would you, either you wear a condom or I take the pill. Mm. And I do not believe in the pill because I know that the pill is bad. I know what the pill does to people's bodies. I took the pill, mm -hmm. okay? And I and it made it did real crazy stuff to my body and it paralyzed my uterus for t for 10 years. You mm -hmm. know, so I know that the dangers that the pill has on the female body. You want me to take these chemicals and this crazy stuff so that you can have a good time? I mean, mm. to me, no, I'm not doing that. And 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 then you want them to cut open my arm and stick something in there so that you don't have to put a condom on? And I got to walk around with that thing in my, in my arm for, for however long I want to keep it in there and and have a scar for the rest of my life, you know. I and th I think, and I th then the IUD that they put up in there, they showing yeah, you now. No yeah, and they're talking now, you know, they got these law c cases going on with this crap. For women, all of this is that women have to do these things to their body so that you can have a good time. I wish there were more options for men. There I, are. I, vasectomy. <laughs> but yeah, that—that's a surgery, yeah, right? But, like that, and yeah, which is it's way more. Small. It's way more expensive and way more intrusive than a goddamn uh, IUD, right? Like it, it's, it's yes, it is, and it's way harder to reverse yes, than, it a, is. than an IUD. But if a man is so set on not having a child, then that's what he should do. If he is so set on it, not having a child, if he wants, if he's going to be in a law, if they're going to get married, and he says, I don't want to have children, then he should have that done. He should have that done. If he wants to go without but a condom. But that is so inaccessible to a lot of people. 
No, it's not. Where, whereas the pill that's been around since the 50s. And it's killing people and it's making people sick and it's causing women not to even have children because they because the chemicals in it are causing children people's bodies to react in certain ways. And, you know, no, no. I, mm, she should take this pill every single day. You are very anti <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she, she should take this pill every single day for the, until he decides he wants to have a child. Okay. And then, you know, there's things that happen with that pill. When he decides he wants to have a child, then she's got to get this, this pill it takes months for it to come out of her system and then it takes and 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 most of the people that i've known not all but most of the people i've known that have had um the pill when they come off the pill they have aborted i mean they have um they have miscarried mm. the first baby now here you are thinking oh this is so wonderful me and my husband we got this baby and then you know then you abort and then then you miscarry then you mm. got to go through that pain and the anguish and that emotional thing that you're going through. He really not because he's like, oh, well, well, we can try again, you know, and everything. And, you know, you got to go. Why go through all of that? That to me it, makes no sense whatsoever. It, I, I don't think that women should be put through that because a man want to have sex. Because he don't want to use condom. I mean, I'm just saying, use condom, get a vasectomy. You can be in a long term relationship and you both agree not to have a baby. And then, whoops, it happens. So if that's it, it, it the can, case, it can always happen. yes, but if you never want to have a child, have a vasectomy. Well, I, and I you would never have a child. Well, I think like to require a man to get that surgery, which, you know, is out of reach for a lot of different people. Uh, and it's very intrusive. It's a, it's an intrusive. You know how much it costs to have a vasectomy? I don't, I don't know. Okay. How much? I don't know. <laughs> but but I, I think it's more than a plan B. I think it's more than an IUD. I think it's more. I mean, I don't know for certain. Yeah, but I, it's we can not, research but, right after this. Yeah, and we will. But the point is, is that. But it's very Yes, but an IUD. You probably need a certain age range. An IUD, you, you still have to pay for it. Every single month sure. you have to pay for that. Yeah, Every yeah. single month you have to pay for the pill. But those long-term effects that you have with those things are more detrimental than you have in a vasectomy. And, and the money that's going to cost when you have those miscarriages, that you got to go in and have DC, DNCs, and when you have all this other kind of crap going on, you don't already paid for the vasectomy. So I'm just saying, go and have one. Then have all the sex you want. With anybody you want to act with. There and is. nobody will have a baby. Listen, I want to keep on going. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll come and double back into the rest, because we're already 30 minutes in. It's like, okay. it's gone like that. You understand me? But I, 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 I appreciate your reaction to it. I appreciate your thoughts on it. Um, the thing is, I didn't set this up as well, but like you come from a different era, right? Uh -huh. A different life. So like, I, I think that there's um, uh, uh, there's ideas of accountability that I think we both uh, agree on that when I talk to other people of my era, don't have the same mindset. So right. which is Absolutely. why like, I like to, I, I appreciate you coming and giving your mindset because it's a mindset uh, of, a, of a generation above, you understand me? So, so I appreciate that, okay? Thank you for that. And I appreciate you coming through. <laughs> Anything else to share with them before we get out of here? No, I'm good, I'm good. I, you know, it's, it's real interesting that people have these ideas and I just like to put mine out there because I really, I really believe in truthfully that if you're gonna have sex with someone, you need to have a conversation. And you need to know that if you're gonna have sex, you might have a baby. Listen, I, I think um, accountability is on both sides of the coin. Um, and I think like um, uh, there's a lot of people that uh, retroactively, retroactively are angry at the system. And my thing is, is how do we get the information out there of, but if you put yourself at risk, you this could be your situation. Right. You, you understand? Right. So, so I, I get your point. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. <laughs> Media tutorials. Are you, are, are you like my exit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like that? I've been working on it. I've been working on it. <laughs> Media tutorials and reviews <laughs> at gmail.com. Go to Instagram as well. Link down in the description box below. Thanks again for coming through. You're great. We're we, we gonna, we gonna do more content. All right? <laughs> okay. Until next time, you two. Pardon the masculinity. <laughs> Peace! <laughs>